All right, this is another really good question. Uh, how to perform fluidly under pressure. The first question I would ask is who creates that pressure? Okay, so I feel like I wanna do really great, but I only feel like I'm this great. And the division between that and that is what causes the most distress and actually causes you to not ever be able to reach this point because you hit the ceiling of how great you think you actually are as opposed to letting the crowd decide, which is usually somewhere up here. The best way I can say it is treat performance like it's a training session. A lot of times if you're self-conscious, this will be a self-destructive thing because as you're self-conscious, you're never able to fully shine out. And because you're never able to fully shine out, it's really hard to be happy with your performance. And this is where the training comes in because if you feel that way, the only way to get past that is to go through those motions until your mind and heart realize, okay, this is not so bad, I can do this. I think an advanced performer or someone that's experienced, they still make mistakes. So they don't think, oh man, I hope I don't make any mistakes. I mean, no one wants to have a mistake, but at the same time, the way that they recover and adapt from mistakes is a lot quicker, and a lot of times the audience doesn't even recognize what happens, or they think that was part of the performance. That's what a good performer can do, whereas uh, a, a more inexperienced performer may become apologetic. They may give in anytime they make a mistake, and that causes a crowd who would have never realized you were making a mistake to see it because it's showing in your face and in your energy. So don't break character, keep going. Even if things go crazy, unless the stage is burning, just keep going and don't listen to that voice in your head, uh, especially if you're performing. That voice in your head serves no purpose at this particular moment. Your goal, your training session is to be able to overcome that voice so you can just be because you know when you're at home and you're in your state of flow and you're doing your best you aren't thinking you should be anything you're listening to a good song and you're just flowing you're just moving with it you lose all ideas of who you are and you're just in motion and that's kind of where you want to be uh when you perform too even with choreography you should have it down to where you just are just in motion like this living breathing piece of art <laughs> but the way to get to that is uh, you got to get through that phase again where your own self-doubt, you have to get past that. So I feel like performing is very, I'm not going to say spiritual, but it's its definitely a trying time that will allow you to free yourself if you let it, or it can condemn you. It depends on where you take it. So I hope this helps. Treat it as a training session. You're going to feel afraid. You're going to have shaky hands. Do it anyways. Keep doing it. Eventually your hands will shake a little bit less every time. Your drops will be just a little bit less, or you'll drop and your fear of the drop will be a little bit less. And you'll actually, every single time you make a mistake, you better be learning though. Learn, I mean, this is a training session again. This isn't, this isn't the end. You didn't, you, didn't pro, you didn't train all the way up until you can become a performer and then it stops. You're training all the way up to become a performer and now it's a whole new book that opened up and you're, gonna, you're back to a newbie. You're starting all the way over again. And this is exciting because there's a whole nother world. Performance is a brand new world. It's insane. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have more questions.